Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Aquaculture 2 in Minecraft 1.16.5. Aquaculture is uh, basically a mod that makes fishing fun in Minecraft. Like that's its main goal. We featured this before in top 5 videos and we did do a video back in 1.6 or 1.15.2, excuse me, on installing this. But uh, it's not been updated in a while so today it is our job to update it. First and foremost though we do have much more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to next slash Apex to get your own Minecraft server up and running quickly and easily. We actually love and trust Apex so much we have our own server. Played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown to next slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless you're not here to start a Minecraft server you're here to install Aquaculture 2. So let's go ahead and get it done. Now the first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here here. This is actually our text tutorial for installing Aquaculture 2. Basically, if we go like, you know, too fast or anything like that in this video, you can use this article here to uh, slow it down a bit. However, what we want to do is go ahead and click on this yellow download Aquaculture 2 button. That's right there when you scroll down a bit. And that'll take you to the official Aquaculture 2 download page. Then we want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, we do see Aquaculture 1.16.5. Click the orange download button to the right of that. And it's going to go ahead and start downloading Aquaculture 2. It's Pretty simple to get downloaded, just like any other Minecraft mod. We will need to keep or save this file depending on our browser. So in the bottom left down here, we do see Aquaculture, and we can go ahead and keep that in the bottom left. Again, you may need to save it in the center of your screen. It's 100% safe to do that. Now, just like most other Minecraft mods, we need to download Forge as well. So you can find Forge. The third link in the description down below is going to take you here, and this is our in-depth tutorial for installing Forge. Again, if we go too fast in this video, this one is sure to help you out. This text tutorial is sure to help you out. But nevertheless, once you're here, scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button, and that will take us off to Forge's official website where we can make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected. In our case, as you can see, it is selected there, but just in case, you can come over to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then 1.16.5, and it will appear right there. Now we can come under download latest and click on the installer, and when you click this installer button, stop! Do not click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing. What are you doing? I said don't click anything on this page. The only thing you want to do on this page is wait 10 seconds, and then finally click the red skip button that appears in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right there, and then when you click that red skip button in the bottom left of Google Chrome, we do have a file start downloading and it should say forge in that title as you can see in the bottom left there it is it says forge go ahead and click keep on that as long as it says forge in the title on myself firefox thing same thing you need to save it in the center of your screen as long as it has forge in the title you are good to do that now we go ahead and minimize our browser and here at desktop we do have forge and we also have aquaculture too so there's aquaculture too and there's forge if these aren't your desktop no worries they're gonna be found in your downloads folder to find that the little windows icon to the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen go ahead and that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and type in down downloads and then have this downloads basically well, I have a bunch of download folders here, but basically in one of these, it's going to be this one right here for me. You are going to find Forge and Aquaculture, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use here. Nevertheless, once they're on your desktop, we want to go ahead and get started off by installing Forge. Now, your Forge logo or your logo on these files may be different than mine. If that's the case, it's okay. Let's go ahead and try to open up Forge, and if we can, we can move forward. But if you can't, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So let's go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With. If you have Java, click on it, and then click OK. But if you don't have Java here or you want to make your logos look like mine, here's what you need to do. Go to the description down below and download and install this. This is Java, and basically it's Java for Minecraft mods. So you need this version of Java in order to open up Forge. You might already have it, and if you do, awesome. Just kind of skip this part. But if you don't, this is where you can get it. It's a quick and easy three-step process to do that, and you can find an in-depth video right here. Now, at this point, you should be able to open up Forge, but just in case you can't, or if your logos still don't look correctly, you need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and basically link them back to Java, right like so, kind of linking them together, making them all work perfectly. So once you've done that, you can finally minimize your browser, right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok that's then going to open up the mod system installer for forge here where we can click on install client and click ok it's then going to download do some things set some things up make some things work basically link everything together and make it all work perfectly and then once it is finished, we will be able to go ahead and see successfully install Client Profile Forge version 1.16.5. Awesome. Click OK there to close out of that. And then we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, once we're on the Minecraft launcher here, it's pretty simple to go ahead and select Forge. To do that, you want to click on this little basically arrow to the left of the play button and then click on Forge. As long as it has 1.16.5-Forge under it, go ahead and click play. 
But if it doesn't have 1.16.5 dashboards under it, or there's no Forge profile in here at all, here's what you need to do. Go to installations up here at the top, then go ahead and make sure this modded button is checked, right? So this modded tick box right here, this should be checked. And if it is, you should see Forge. As long as it has 1.16.5 under it, go ahead and click play. However, if you still don't have Forge after clicking the modded button and you don't see 1.16.5 dash Forge under Forge, what you want to do is click on the plus new here. Now we can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I name it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.16.5 grief protected survival server. We have an amazing skyblock server with a truly incredible, unique minion system, a custom economy, custom challenges, over a hundred challenges actually for you to play and enjoy. An amazing storyline. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. We also have grief protected survival, medieval survival, 30 custom quests, player based economy, aquatic survival, slash shop based economy, daily rewards. It's incredible. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com again is the IP. Now that's the version. Let's go ahead and click on this version drop down box here. And then we want to click release 1.16.5 Forge. Mine's up here towards the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but again, mine's right here. Go ahead and click on that. I'm also going to change the resolution. You don't need to do that, but uh, I'm doing it because we're making a video here, and I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. So just go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new playdartbreakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, we have 1.16.5 Forge under it. So we want to go ahead and click on the green play button on that. You're going to get this warning. Click you understand the risk. Basically, this is just saying that you're playing modded Minecraft. Are you sure you want to play modded Minecraft? Yes, we're sure. So let's go ahead and click I understand the risk and click play. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge. This will take a few seconds, but basically the hard part is over. Now, I uh, believe I have some holdover mods here. I do. There are some other mods installed. Let me do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you back on the screen with those mods uninstalled. So there we go. Mods from a previous video now removed. We are back opening up Minecraft with Forge. <laughs> All right. So now it's just kind of a waiting game. It's just waiting until Minecraft is open. It's not that long of a wait, less than a minute, but nevertheless, it is a waiting game because once Minecraft is open, it is easy to install Aquaculture 2. The hard part, by the way, is done. You can delete Forge from your desktop at this point if you would like. But nevertheless, it's time to install Aquaculture. It's a very, very simple to do this. Like literally the hard part is done. I, I'm not joking when I say that the hard part is over. This is easy. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu with Forge installed, just go ahead and click on the Mods button and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's pretty quick, so let's do that again. Click on the Mods button from the desktop and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up your Mods folder where all you need to do to install Aquaculture 2 is drag and drop it into this Mods folder. It's that easy. Now, we're not done completely. We still need to click Done and quit out of Minecraft. We need to basically restart Minecraft, making sure we're opening up with Forge and then Aquaculture 2 is installed. Luckily, you've already got your Forge profile. You've already got that all set up. So either the Forge profile is now selected or the profile you created. It should say 1.16.5 dash Forge under it, no matter what, and then click the green play button. You shouldn't get a warning this time, right? It should just open right on up. And now Aquaculture 2 will be installed. We'll actually be able to see it. There it is, Aquaculture is recognized. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to open. You're watching this tutorial, so it is going to open. But in the future, with other mods that you're installing, if it's there and you're like, it's not opening, well, that just means it's recognized and it's going to try to open it. Not that it actually will open it. But nevertheless, we know this is going to open it and you're going to see it right here on your screen. And you're also going to see it on uh, your own Minecraft because it's pretty simple. And nevertheless, we're just kind of waiting here. I don't like to do many jump cuts in this part of the process just to show you that no trickery is involved. Nothing's, nothing's going on. It's just literally me talking and loading and boring stuff. But nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on the Mods tab, and there is Aquaculture 2. We can also go ahead and jump into a single player. And we're going to go ahead and do Aqua Culture. 2, right like so, and then I'm going to make it creative and create a new world. I am going to do a quick jump cut, and I will see you once we are in game. The world's loaded to showcase a little bit of Aquaculture 2. So here we are in game, and I actually found a nice little, like, uh, ocean-style area for us to do some fishing in. Now, we go ahead and click over. We do have Aquaculture. We have tons of awesome fishing rods here. We're going to start off with a diamond fishing rod. On that diamond fishing rod, I'm going to put a... Uh, diamond hook as well. We'll just go all diamond. And then we're also going to grab ourselves a tackle box. And I believe do we need bait as well? Is that a thing? Um, is there worms? I, I swear there's worms. Let me see if I can find it. Worms. Yes. Okay. I think we do need to put some worm bait on here as well. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and now go into survival. Make this a little more realistic. Throw down our tackle box. In here, we can actually do things like throw uh, some of our bait, some of our hooks, things like that. And uh, also, can we put the, yes, so this is also how we're going to add on our bait and our hook. So we can do that and put our bait on as well. There we go. We can also add on different other additions here, but we'll start with this. So as you can see, fishing rod, diamond fishing rod with a diamond hook on it. And then we can go ahead and cast that out. And now it's just waiting. I mean, it is fishing after all. So it is going to take a second, but it is cool nonetheless. Um, the cool part is you can get so many different fish. Now we'll see what we grab here, but uh, is, is there like a... Looks like there's a, a dolphin over there, actually. But nevertheless, 
We're just kind of sitting back and waiting until we catch a fish. But the cool part is all the customization that you can do to your rod there can help you catch fish faster, help you catch fish slower, help you catch more fish. And there we go. Boom. And just like that, we have immediately caught ourselves a red grouper, which is not a vanilla Minecraft fish. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch one more. We're going to go ahead and throw towards the, uh, towards the island over there. That's a piece of sand. I cleared out some area here. But nevertheless, um, we're just going to kind of sit here and wait and see if we can catch ourselves something over towards the coral reef, maybe. And then once we have done that, we will go ahead and um, kind of kind of just show you some of the other fish in creative and then sign out this video. I mean, there's not much to it. It's a fishing mod for Minecraft, but it is a really good fishing mod. Oh, we call ourselves a jellyfish there. That's really cool. Okay, I'm kind of addicted. Let's do one more, but let's uh, let's actually go over... Let's go fishing in the water, and we're gonna we're gonna cast out on top of this coral reef and see if we catch anything cool. What is that? I don't know. It's a cool looking fish there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a blowfish. Okay, yeah, well, that's a vanilla fish. But anyway, still looks cool. So we're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna cast out actually on top of this. And we're gonna see if we catch anything unique. Might not. Might just catch a tropical fish, but it's worth a shot. We've already caught two really cool um, fish exclusive to aquaculture. So yeah. Uh, that's not where I want. I want to go a little bit like more into this. I want to be in this is amazing. So for those of you who are curious about this, I feel like I do need to showcase it. I will show the seed here in one moment. I was going to get uh, get right here. Just one more time. There we go. All right. So the seed is this and our location is right there for you. If you do want to come and check this world out, this seems like a great aquaculture like area, honestly, with the, the huge coral reef, like the massive plus the ocean. Anyway, there's also a little lake behind that mountain. Really, really cool. But we're just going to sit here, wait, and then once this catches, we're going to see if we catch anything unique. Uh, it looks kind of cool. I don't know. I'm really up. Oh, I think we're about to grab something. Boom. There we go. And yep, just salmon or raw cod. But anyway, there we go. Now we can go ahead and jump back into creative real fast. And I'll show you some of the other cool fish that aquaculture has. There is also treasure chest and different things like that that you can get as other exclusive loot while fishing. But one of the coolest things is going to be actually this, uh, the fish, right? So you've got Everything from Atlantic cod, blackfish, um, halibut, you know, I mean, all sorts of different types of halibut, pink salmon, uh, perch, goldfish, I mean, everything. Frogs, even. There are frogs in game. Turtles as well. So, tons of different stuff you can catch. A lot of these you can also put in buckets. So, for example, if we were to go ahead and take out this, I believe we can actually put this in the water. Yes, and these do swim around. So, really, really cool stuff there as well. One thing that would be kind of cool to see, do they have the grouper? Grouper are typically very large fish in real life. That's why I'm curious about that. Uh, but it does. Oh, they do. Let's see. Is this going to be a larger fish? No, that's a little sad. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That's how you get Aquaculture 2 in Minecraft 1.16.5. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on playdartbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.